Greetings folks, in this video I'm going to be having a look at the SpeedyB Nano ELRS receiver. It comes in 2.4 GHz and 915 MHz. This is the 2.4 GHz version. It is a single antenna, non-diversity, uh, nano-sized receiver, uh, which I think is the most convenient. It's the most uh, common one that I use. Uh, so let's find this little fella in here. They're absolutely tiny. Has an impressive 100 milliwatts of telemetry power. Look at the size of that. That is just ridiculous. Single T antenna. Uh, comes with cable, pins and heat shrink. What I'm going to do first is uh, solder it up and uh, put it together and then uh, we will compare it to some of the other receivers around. Have a look at the manual and the websites uh, and then I'll bind it up and show you some of the selections in the Lua script. Uh, so anyway, let's go and put it together right now. Alright, so now that we've got it all soldered up and together we can compare it to some of the other receivers. I think this is really uh, the best compromise for uh, convenience and price and uh, locating antennas and things like that. All of these antennas have a ridiculous range. There's the, the smallest of the lot. That's the little Beta FPV uh, light with the little tower antenna that's the smallest of the lot and would you believe I've done my longest flight ever with this particular receiver so several kilometers um, any of the Express LRS receivers will be able to get you that sort of range but uh, yeah I prefer to have a, a more decent antenna for more link security I suppose and then you go to the dual antennas like this Matek that is the R24D uh, that has Gemini mode. It's sort of two receivers in one, but you do have to be able to locate those two antennas on your plane somehow, which is a little bit tricky sometimes. Uh, and then there's the other extreme, which is the Radio Master Nomad, which is dual band. So that's uh, 2.4 and 900 megahertz and four full antennas. Um, yeah, I haven't really worked out how to mount that on the plane just yet. And then, of course, you have all the PWM receivers, the big Super P from Beta FPV. And, of course, they have all the PWM pins available for plugging servos into directly. But, of course, you can convert these into serial receivers like I showed in my previous video. So that's the Super P from Beta FPV. This is the ER5A from Radio Master. And another one from Radio Master. This is the Glider. Uh, eight channel with Vario on board, all very good receivers, but uh, for connecting to a flight control board, I think this is the one I prefer. This is the, the sort of style I prefer. It just makes it easier to mount it on your plane and you'll still easily get 10 kilometers range out of this one with, without too many problems at all. Over on the Banggood website, Banggood did send this to me for the review. Uh, $12.99 US. Have a look at the Speedy B website as well, I would recommend. Uh, but this is what we get in the package, as I showed you before. Uh, and it's probably best to, yeah, let's flip over to the Speedy B website and we'll have a look at the um, dimensions and the specs. There's the layout here RX TX 5 volts and ground, 10.4 uh, by 18.4 millimeters, absolutely tiny, 56 millimeter T antenna. Uh, 82 millimeter length and there are some measurement 
uh, details there showing that uh, you can get uh, actually up to 120 milliwatts output for the telemetry. And here's the 915 megahertz variety with the bigger antennas. And uh, let's look here, Express LRS 2.4 gigahertz. It's got the SX1281 RF chip and the ESP8285 MCU. Five volts input. IPAX1 antenna connector, 0.7 gram without the antenna, which is pretty much nothing. Uh, and double blinking red means it's in binding mode. Slow blinking red means it's powered up, but uh, transmitter isn't turned on. Solid red means it's received. Uh, it is uh, connected and signal received. I'll show you how to bind it up next. Fast flash, red flashing is means the Wi-Fi mode is on. The manual, or the manual just is exactly the same thing as this stuff. So there's nothing extra, so no point looking at that at this stage. Now, something you should do when you're considering buying a, an Express LRS receiver is go over to the Express LRS configurator and make sure it is supported by the Express LRS project. If the firmware target is included in here, you know that the company has been cooperating with the Express LRS project and uh, providing samples for them to uh, check out things like that. If you can't find the uh, firmware target in the list here that you know that uh, the company isn't really playing ball. So device category we can see 2.4 gigahertz is there and the only thing there is the Speedy B Nano 2.4 gigahertz receiver. Now it comes with 3.4.3 Express LRS. There, are, uh, there is a later version, this 3.5.1. So if you wanted to update firmware. So what I would do is, while you're here, click on Wi-Fi, click on build, and grab that firmware file. There it is there. Drag that out and put it on your desktop so you can find it later. And then we can flash using the Wi-Fi setup page. So what we'll do now is power it up. So we have double flashing red light. That means it goes straight into binding mode. So let's Open up the Lua script. Make sure we've got the latest Lua script there. Uh, bind. And we've got a solid red light, so we are now bound, and we can actually see the little C up in the corner there, so that tells us we're bound. And we've got our signal bars on there, so all bound and ready to go. Now, of course, it's perfectly suited to be used on the Speedy BF405 wing flight control board. You would plug it into UART1. RX to TX and TX to RX, of course, with all of these UART connections. It just clicks in there like that. Why don't we power it up? Power it up via USB. Let's turn the transmitter on as well. Thank you. There we go, we're connected. And let's go over to the configurator just to make sure that we actually do have receiver connection. And if we go over to the receiver page, I think we're looking pretty good. Yeah, look at that. Everything's working. That was all connected and ready to go for a fly. So there we go. That is the uh, most convenient sized ELRS receiver for mine. Uh, I use most of these more than anything else. I love them. And this is a good one from Speedy B. Speedy B Nano 2.4 GHz Express LRS receiver. Thanks for watching. See you in the next video.